of Matsumoto and we're going to see the number one highlight of this area one that's recognized throughout Japan the oldest surviving castle throughout the country and being a man that comes from the land of castles it's pretty much worth a visit Something pretty unique about it is the only time ever have I had to go to some sort of attraction like this, like a castle, and take off my shoes. I take off my shoes and stick them in a plastic bag. Actually, I suppose at the end of the day that makes a lot of sense, you know, you're protecting the attraction that you're going to see, particularly off my size feet. I had to carry two individual bags of enormous fucking boots clanging around. But either way, it was pretty impressive. Pretty beautiful, as you can see. And as I said, the oldest surviving one in all of Japan, so it was definitely worth a visit. in Matsumoto. Really I'm here to sort of break up the journey between here and Nagoya. 
it seemed like a decent place to stop. And I'm staying somewhere just on the outskirts of the city. And it seems so quiet here. I've barely seen any people here. Not even locals. It just seems so quiet, so dead here. And I'm here now in this shrine. And it's completely quiet. It's completely empty. Completely quiet, so peaceful. We're right in the middle of the forests here at the base of the mountains. It's just so peaceful, so beautiful. Yeah, really, I don't know what's here to see. All I really know about the city is Matsumoto Castle for the rest of today. I've just been looking around. You know, I've just been exploring a little bit around the hostel and I found this. So, anyway, for this like, the journey, I don't imagine that I'll be doing much. And that's okay. A bit non stop as of recently. It was kind of nice taking a bit of a slower pace. My hostel, the hostel I'm in right now, is actually amazing. It's almost empty. And this is a hostel that actually comes with its own onsen, which is incredibly rare. So tomorrow, we'll see the rest of the city and then we'll be heading straight to Nagoya. Ah, oh, I'm telling you. Japan is just the gift that just keeps on giving. So I'm walking around the surroundings of my hostel. And what do I discover? Free foot spa onsen. Free foot spa. And I genuinely look. And right now we are obviously in the land of the onsen. Recently just left Nagano and uh, Yukonada. This is still onsen country. Oh, it's fucking glorious. Mm -hmm. 